is the QT gas station on Selenese around 930 at night. They are out of gas. Everybody sitting here is not getting gas. Everything except diesel is out. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the gas shortage, gas lines, and the whole situation surrounding it. Before I even get into it, first and foremost, please do not be this guy. Do not be this guy with your 1996 Ford Explorer full of 25 Jerry cans of gasoline. Please don't do that. Number one, that's very dangerous. One false move, one um, accidental light of a cigarette, and you got a whole IED right there. You have a whole bomb. That is very dangerous. Do not do that, okay? But beyond how dangerous it is and how silly it is and how you're contributing to the shortage, there's also no reason to do it because any shortage that may happen is temporary. It's not going to last forever. People are out there right now like it's the scam demo and the whole toilet paper thing. Oh, it's not going to be anymore because I saw a guy with a thousand rolls in his car. Just stop. We're going to be just fine in a very short period of time. Now, I got to back up a little bit here and explain to you what's going on just so we're on the same page with each other. Now, Colonial is a company, Colonial Pipeline. Their pipeline supplies 45% of the gas that you get at the gas station on the East Coast. So 45% of the East Coast gas. Uh, it comes from the refineries in Texas. On up through the southern states. I'll put some map on the screen before you. It goes from Texas on up to almost New York. States like where I live, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. They all get gas from this pipeline. Now, is it the only pipeline that supplies these states? Not necessarily. Maybe in some parts of these states, that's the main pipeline that they get gas from. But they're still able to get gas in other ways. That's not the end all be all. So although they may be down right now or experiencing some, some kind of interruptions, that's not going to be the only way you're able to get gas. Now, why is there a gas shortage? What's going on with Colonial? Why are they not really able to get gas from A to B like they normally would be able to? Um, there was a ransomware attack on them from a Russian gang. And before I even get into that, I say Russian gang but I'm not speaking about the Russian government. So if anybody says, oh, the Russians hacked the gas line, that's not really what's going on. It's like, if I go to Russia and I do something wrong, it's not the Americans attack Russia. It's this guy who happens to be an American went to Russia and did something, or he did something to Russia from wherever he's at. That's just on him and not the government of America or anybody else. In this case, there's a gang that is just going around trying to get money. Now, what they did here is put ransomware on the systems that control the pipeline remotely. And the thing about ransomware, it prevents you from being able to use these systems unless you pay some money to get the ransomware off the system. For the most part, I mean, you can remove ransomware without paying money, but it's very hard to do so. And the gang already came out and said, look, we're not trying to start nothing crazy. We're just trying to get money. Now, I'm not saying it's right what they're doing. What they're doing is illegal, 1,000% and wrong. But it's not a government attack from what I'm able to see. Now, if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. Now, from what I'm reading, back in 2017, Colonial was warned to update their system because they did not have two-form authentication. Now, what that means is if you log into your Facebook account, your Twitter account, or whatever... You got to be able to guess the password or well, the email, the password, and you have to be able to type in the code that goes to your phone or somewhere else after you type in the password. But if there's no two-form authentication, all you need is the email, password, and you have entry. And a lot of times, these guys are not changing their password. They got soft passwords. They might have a password that's easy, like admin at Colonial Systems, and then the password is like 123ABC. And boom, now you have access to the whole thing. And also, sometimes the passwords can be captured through a method called phishing, where you get a false email to say, hey, uh, this is Colonial. We need you using a password to update our system. 
but it's not really colonial. It's some other kind of Fugazi group. You give them your name, your password. Now they have entry into the whole situation. Sometimes it just takes one week link to get into the whole thing. And that's what's happening right here from what I'm able to see. Now, I think they didn't want to upgrade their system because it's going to cost money, allegedly. But now this whole gas shortage is going to make us pay for whatever the higher expense is going to be for gas that comes from further or from gas that kind of gets gouged because of the shortage. Now, Biden and the whole team are saying, oh, it's no problem. There's no big deal. There's no shortage. Well, they're, they're right and wrong. There is a shortage, but it's not going to be long lived. They said by Friday, everything will be pretty much back to normal. Like Friday or the weekend of this week, things will be back normal. I think even without the ransomware being taken off, they could still operate these lines manually. I think the internet connectivity is related to the remote viewing. So basically, you can operate the valves, opening and shutting them from a computer without having to actually physically be there. But I think right now, they're operating the valves manually in North Carolina to Maryland and that part of the pipeline. But the rest of the pipeline is down because they're not able to operate it remotely. If they're able to operate things manually, they don't need the internet connectivity. The ransomware won't really be a problem. And they can still get things back rocking and rolling. And again, it's only about 45% of the East Coast oil supply. You still have 55% that's able to be out there moving and grooving. So it's not really a big deal. This colonial one is just one. Yes, it's a big portion of the East Coast, but it's not going to be the end all be all. Gas stations will still have gas. It might be a temporary little blip in the radar. But if you're able to go out there, like I showed you from the beginning, and have like 18 jerry cans full of gas, you're not experiencing the shortage. Although there may be one, if people do things like that, that would just heighten the shortage. Like I said, same thing, toilet paper. People going out there and binge buying it, having their whole Fort Bronco from back in the OJ days filled to the rim. You got paper on top of your car strapped down with bungee cords you got that going on so if there is a shortage you're just contributing to it all you're going to do is just hoard that in your house for no real reason but as i close i want to say this we're living in a very interesting time don't we i mean we have the gas lines back uh that's like what back in the 70s they had those i'm not old enough to remember those times i was not born but i do remember seeing pictures and reading reports and hearing stories about the gas crisis back then now obviously the gas crisis back then was for a different reason but the optics are pretty pretty eerily similar hopefully we don't go down this road hopefully joe biden does not become jimmy carter 2.0 he could he very well could but hopefully for the sake of all of us that does not happen but just to reiterate for all you guys out there that are kind of concerned about the gas it's temporary OK, they can operate the gas pipeline manually if they have to. All they're going to do is get rid of that ransomware, get back up and running. And one thing I do think will happen is that gas is going to go up. Gas is already going up anyway, but you have this thing going on. So if Colonial has to pay ransom to get the pipeline up and running with 100 percent efficiency, I mean, who's going to pay that? Is it going to be Colonial or is it going to be you? Is it going to be me? Who's going to pay this? Is it going to have an effect all over the nation because of how things are and how things are interconnected? Only time will tell, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this gas line kerfuffle? Is it a big deal? Not really a big deal? Do we need more gas lines? Less gas lines? Should we just rely upon electric cars and have that just pave the way for the future? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. Um, one thing I'm going to say, if you're talking about electric and things of that nature to quote-unquote replace gas, um, there are quite a few systems in America that are vulnerable. I mean, the gas pipeline is just one. It could have just been one little small weak link in the chain that caused it, possibly. Now, there are a bunch of other systems that run the same way. Speaking about electric, the electrical grid, oh, man, hopefully they don't try to hack that. We saw what happened with the whole water thing in Texas after just a, a bad storm. 
hopefully we don't have a similar thing happen to the electrical grid when you're talking about weather or you're talking about um, hacking. Because that'd be a serious problem. That'd be a really, really bad thing. You're talking about hospitals and schools and places with extreme heat and cold. You don't like that to happen at all. But what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Is the whole thing overblown? Not really a big deal? Is it a big deal? How is gas where you live? Is it available? Not available? Do you have 35 jerry cans of gasoline in an underground bunker getting ready for today? Are you just vindicated because you say, hey, they called me crazy. They, th- they said I was a crazy prepper, but here I am with all the gas and you have nothing. Whatever your thoughts on this are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.